Dreaming Backwards. The first track is a song called Please Don't Walk Away. That song was really built around a little rhythm pattern that I I was giving this kid a lesson. We were talking about R&B and about New Orleans. And I just started playing this, which is... A, you know, that little lick nice. there. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> I took that home and kind of and just expanded on it, and it became a tune. Mm-hmm. And um, this tune has the horn, the Harris Brothers playing on it. And oh, the Harris Brothers yep. are great. Mm-hmm. They, they were just doing a, a thing with the Allman Brothers, and they played... I mean, the, um, Don Harris writes a lot of the charts for uh, uh, American Idol. Mm-hmm. These guys are... They're just great. Yeah. And their... I mean, their contribution to this song kind of makes it, as far as I'm mm-hmm. concerned. Mm-hmm. And it's just like... New Orleans R&B, you know, it's not real serious lyrics, it's just mm-hmm. a, it, it's a fun song, basically. Mm-hmm. What about uh, the second track, Hostage of Love? Uh, that's definitely a personal song, and I'm not exactly sure what it's about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and that one is one of the songs that just kind of wrote itself. Uh-huh. You're not pleading the Fifth Amendment, are you? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> okay, why not? Um, yeah. That's more ballad-like. More ballad, and it's very, definitely uh, James Taylor, um, and that's that's in drop D tuning, which is. And this first this yeah. first pattern here. That came out of mm, thin air. I don't know where it came from. Mm-hmm. I'd already ri- I, I had written the song and it wrote itself very quickly, and I had to add something to it, and that just I just sat down and played it, and it was. Mm-hmm. Oh, anyway, ready. and I, that, for, that this is my favorite song on the CD. It's my personal favorite on the CD. What about Autumn Song? Autumn Song is that's kind of my uh, you're getting older feeling a little. That's definitely got some nostalgia. That song also reminds me of Massachusetts, which is where I'm from. It reminds me of Worcester in the fall, mm-hmm. and um, there's a little reference to my father in that. And it's uh, you know it's a little melancholy, mm-hmm. but I, that, that's another track that I'm very happy with. Mm-hmm. And Waterline, track four. Waterline is uh, that has kind of a, a unusual uh, tuning, mm-hmm. which I won't do here right now because yeah. it would take five minutes to get to <laughs> yeah. that tuning. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. And that song, I'm not exactly sure what it's about, but. Um, uh, this song also has some really nice uh, synthesizer work by Matt Detroit on it, which really adds a lot. And um, great bass playing by Tony Mercadante. And um, Hans Brooking plays some great drums on it. And that has a guitar figure, which kind of uh, defines the, the middle to the end of the song, which just kind of came out of thin air, too, which we did in the studio. And I'm, I was very pleased with the way that came out. And what about uh, Save Yourself, track five? Save Yourself is my uh, my homage to Jimi Hendrix, really. But Jimi Hendrix being one of the biggest influences in my life. If you play guitar and you're not influenced by Hendrix, you know, yeah. get another job. <laughs> um, and it's just yeah. that that that's just a, it's just a rocker, and it's 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 an excuse to to to, 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 to wail basically. And that's Street Kid. That's my old band Street Kid playing on that. And some great girl singers too. Mady Miles, who's a great R and B singer, and Lissy Newman, my friend, who's also a wonderful singer. And the two of them do the background vocals on that. It's phenomenal. 